Hello everybody and welcome, welcome, I am excited to be playing some Diablo after a lot of work getting it to run on a Windows 10 PC. I am excited to get this, this story started. Um, it is definitely a lot shorter than I, what I recall as a child, <laughs> um, but it's still going to be fun. It'll be fun to go through really quick. Um, you know, the original Diablo, there's only one main quest, and that is to kill Diablo. So that's what we're going to be working on. Um, if any of the other side quests are there, like the well, which the well is not a quest this time, then, you know, I'll do them as, as I see them. I mean, for example, whenever we get to the, the church up here, if there's a guy laying on the ground, that means the butcher is going to be a little side quest that I can do. But other than that, we're just going to work towards getting a Diablo. Please, listen to me. Which we do the Archbishop Diablo. Lazarus, butcher. he led us down here to find the lost prince. Bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead, killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. So that our souls may finally rest. Alright, let's go. Let's go in the dungeon. This is it. One dungeon. 16 levels. Here we go. We're in. Oh, uh, yeah. Playing as the rogue class. And I'm not even going to worry about that guy running away. Uh, I am playing a level 50 character, and would you look at that, level 2 is right here. Good. So, level 2, the butcher is hiding. So, since I did see the guy outside, I will try and find the butcher. He's the one. He's looking, he's hitting me. Distracting me. That's going to be the main issue, not killing these guys. I want to kill them. They're gonna get in the way. Especially at some of the uh, later levels. Because unfortunately, as powerful as this character is, she could still die. Just shooting at some skeletons right around with the, the, the butcher's little hideout. I don't know why I'm not teleporting. Make it go so much faster. is. Ah, fresh meat. Ah, fresh meat. <laughs> oh, got the spirits of the dead axe. are now avenged. Unidentified. Bitch. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna worry about that. Hard to remember in this game, too, that if you hit I for inventory or C for character, you can't just hit escape to clear out. Actually, you have to re-hit that button or it'll bring up the menu. And unfortunately, I'm playing it in window mode, and my cursor keeps going off the screen. So sorry about that. Be careful with that. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. So let's use that combination. Level four. I believe it's level 5, but the pod is screeching, I do not miss that. I believe it's level 5, but the map will change again. Or the dungeon look will change. Not enough a mana. A bat screeching is a little out there. Alright, level 5. Found it. Yep, I was right. So level 5 does change. Oh yeah, and that's the weird thing about this Diablo 2. You actually have to, even as a rogue, you have to walk up. To be able to destroy the arrows. You can't just shoot. Oh, there's level 6 already. Let's go. 
not going to be setting any records here, but got kind of some pretty good RNG with the, the exits as I click off screen again. Uh, so like I said, there are a few low quests here and there. Like I believe it's level Not enough four mana. It has one of the uh, the goat men. Uh, a magical weapon for for you, as long as you don't kill them. Like please, no hurt, no kill, keep alive. Next time, good thing to you. And then you just kind of walk off the screen, and go back to it. Gosh darn it, Diablo. Not enough mana. Take it, and it sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Like in the harder difficulties of a uh, nightmare in hell, that item is a little bit better. I believe it was a mace that he would make. Not enough mana. That was the fun thing about this Diablo, was you actually had to learn the spell Teleport, or uh, Town Portal, excuse me. You had to learn Teleport as well. Um, and as long as you had enough magic, you could learn whatever spell you wanted to. What ails you, my friend? It wasn't a skill base or anything like that. Now we're back in town at the healer, find some rejuvenation potions. Uh, it'd be nice if they were all full rejuvenation, but I'll take that one regular. If I ask him to heal me, will he give me mana back? What there? ails you, my friend? Oh. No, he does not. If Adria has any full mana, it'd be nice of her, right? Also, another fun thing, so in Diablo 3, you're able to cast your spells and everything in town because they, they cannot, you can't attack anybody unless you're doing brawls. And here's Adrian. I sense a soul in, in search, search of, of answers. answers. Uh, but that's the difference between Diablo 1 and 2, and then 3, was the fact that PvP can be turned on and off by clicking a button. See, if I was in a game with other people, I would be able to attack people, and vice versa, they would be able to attack me. That's what made the first and second one fun. Unless you play, well, not in the second one, because if you were playing against uh, a an open battle net, then, you know, you just walk out of town and the barbarian would leap all the way across the game. Across the Not him. enough mana. He was but, uh, I just want the exit. There it is. It was right here at the beginning. Not enough mana. Level 10. We're almost there. Oh, look, I did not 
one shot that, one shot that guy. Okay, we made it through. We are on level 12. One more in the map. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. There it is. Level 13. And now it all looks gelatin esque. Is that even a word? The walls. Are made out of bones. There we go. Not enough mana. And there's bodies hanging up and everything. So here's the cool thing about this level. Right here. Which uh the other levels have some of the other levels have been in case you weren't able to or anything. And you needed to go back to town for any reason. Do these little up passages. I'll just take you straight up to town. That were never there before. This one's just a little crack. Which, while we are over here, it has been years since I have seen this guy over the river. I'm going to the right place. Okay, that's now to the caves. Isn't, isn't he up here? I thought he was. Yeah, there he is. Work. Psst! Over here! Hey, look, Wirt would just, you know, you had to pay him 50 gold to look at something and then be something ridiculous in Christ. Poor guy. Only he knew. Y'all never played Diablo 2, I won't ruin it for you. But we will talk about it whenever I play Diablo 2. Thankfully, thanks to Crag, I have Diablo 1, Diablo 2, and Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. So, I'm gonna be reminiscing to all of those now. Oh, that made my life a lot easier. Yeah, get over here. Actual spell? Maybe that was map hacked a long time ago. That must have been a map pack a long time ago. Dude, let's see the map. I know there were map packs in the other two for sure. Not Almost dead. But we made it out. Then in there talking. Um I wanna go over here and see if there's any rejuvenations. Hopefully there are. If at the very least. If not, at the very least. What ails you, my friend? There are some a bunch. He had five full rejuice. That was nice of him. Use two of them. And change my spell back to teleport. All right. Going in. But if I do die. Level 15. Alright, we got one more to teleport through. Not enough mana. I am the your foolish quest. She was the wrath of my master. You are too late to save the child. Now you will join me. Oh. 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 
Your madness ends here, oh, betrayer. I got him. Any, did you try? I dropped a ring or an amulet. Okay. But uh, there's King Leoric's son who was sacrificed. He turned into Diablo. Now we need to find the circle. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. Okay, here it is. Down to Diablo. We are gonna go back to town really quick and talk to Adria. Get some mana potions. Because now we're going to use these mana shields. Because I'm not gonna be teleporting, I'm gonna be showing how to actually do that mission. Oh look, it's the cows. I took the long way to Adria, but that's okay. As long as we get over to her, that's all that matters. I sense a soul in search of answers. Yeah, you always do. This should be enough. About three extra. So that should be plenty. Now we're gonna go back to the town portal. There it is. And use the mana shield. Alright, so Diablo in this one? He is in this one. I'll just be able to just teleport right in if I remember correctly, right? Yeah. <laughs> to make him the vessel for Diablo. And now he's turning back from Diablo to his human form. There he is with a big old hole in his head. And a creepy statue. And somehow he's still alive. Who would have thought? But what are we what are we doing with this crystal? We're aiming- oh goodness, we're jabbing it into ourselves. Not good. Shouldn't have done that. The soul stone burns with hellfire as an eerie red glow blurs your vision. Fresh blood flows into your eyes and you begin to hear the tormented whispers of the damned. 
You have done what you knew must be done. The essence of Diablo is contained. For now. You pray that you have become strong enough to contain the demon and keep him at bay. Although you have been fortified by your quest, you can still feel him clawing his way up from the dark recesses of your soul. Fighting to retain control, your thoughts turn toward the ancient mystic lands of the Far East. Perhaps there, beyond the desolate wastes of Aranak, you will find an answer. Or perhaps, salvation. Perhaps. Hopefully. Well, that is it. The end. That is all for Diablo. One main quest. Go down the dungeon, find Diablo, and kill him. Well, and the Archbishop Lazarus. So, I guess there's two parts. You have to go all the way down, kill the Archbishop Lazarus, and then kill Diablo himself. And like I said, I skipped it, but there are... There's, I said four earlier, but there's three switches in different corners that you have to hit. And each one will open a different section to the next switch. So, if you're watching this and you don't have teleport, that's how you do it. That is exactly how you do it. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. It was great playing Diablo again. It's been so long since I have played it. You know, it's it's just one of those games. It's one of the earliest games I can remember playing on PC. I really appreciate uh, Crag being able to get that to me. Along with Diablo 2 and Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. So shout out to him. And I will catch y'all next time. Make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see y'all in the next video. Later everybody.